Imagine life without appliances and combustion engines. People had to do a lot of the work themselves, but they didn't know that there would be much new stuff making their lives easier. With electricity and the invention of internal combustion engines, life changed forever. No longer a man had to do slow plowing with an animal that can get tired. Tractors definitely sped up a life of a common man. In the late 19th century, people would do a lot of the agricultural work themselves, and a tractor was a great servant for this kind of labor. They evolved during the second half of the 19th century using steam engines. When closer to the 20th century, internal combustion engines were steadily making their way to ordinary people as companies began licensing them for various kinds of power-demanding applications, even tractors. A combustion engine was much simpler than a steam engine and preferable due to its greater thermal efficiency. The first gasoline tractor would appear yet in 1892. However, an Ackroyd engine was a bit more simple to engineer and more friendly to use for common folks. Numerous manufacturers caught this opportunity, including Landini and Heinrich Lanz, which to this date produced the most popular tractor in Germany and possibly in Europe. Sadly for Heinrich Lanz, a founder of Heinrich Lanz AG company, he could not see the brand's first combustion engine tractor and his later popularity. The Bulldog series was made in more than 220,000 units, and it's obvious why. The Ackroyd engine is a special type of combustion engine which works in two strokes by scavenging and using a hot bulb head as ignition. That's it. No valves, no carburetor, just a very simple architecture. The piston, crankshaft and flywheel alongside the fan, fuel and oil system were the only things moving in the engine. The Lanz Bulldog series was made from 1921 to 1960 in the city of Mannheim. The name was sourced from the design of the hot bulb, resembling the dog breed. It wrote it down so much that in Germany, a bulldog became a synonym for a tractor. The model range was wide enough and many changes were made to the engine as well. The displacement spectrum covered 11 different sizes, between 2.2 up to 10.3 liters, with the most common being a 4.8, and the largest variant. To give you a perspective, the bore spread from 130 to 225 mm and the stroke length from 170 to 260 mm. The first variant, the Lance HL, had a 12 horsepower 6.2 liter made also for stationary applications. The 10.3 liter had a power output of 45 horsepower at 630 rpm and a serious amount of torque of 500 newton meters. That's a lot of power for such an old tractor. And not to forget that this was a horizontal single cylinder with a cool thumping noise and an incredibly large piston. Combined with a three-speed gearbox with an additional range, it was basically a six-speed with two reverse gears and a possible top speed of 16.7 km per hour. The hot bulb engines tend to have a low thermal efficiency of roughly 12% and they run laugh below compression ratios, somewhere between 3 to 1 to 5 to 1. The hot bulb is not a diesel engine, but more like a precursor. To start it, the head needs to be preheated to 600 degrees of Celsius by a torch, and then the operator turns the flywheel with a steering wheel. He needs the wheel for steering right after, so the man has to quickly remove it without breaking his hands. The starting process is lengthy and requires some skill and physical strength. The heated head then works as an igniter for the fuel, diesel, gasoline, kerosene, alcohol, and even waste oils, 
and its fuel consumption is about 12 to 16 liters of fuel each hour. The Bulldog had a 6.5 liter oil tank and used about 50 liters of coolant for its evaporative cooling, which was later changed for a thermosiphon design. Some versions did not have a reverse gear and the engine had to be reversed in order to drive backwards. With this engine design, it is possible to lower revs to such an extent that the engine keeps running back and forth without making a full revolution, technically at zero RPM. It also looks funny with a first gear engaged and when applying throttle, the engine will start spinning in a single direction. There was even a gauge for that. For many Bulldogs, it was the only gauge. The Lance Bulldog was so good and loud that many Europeans and even world manufacturers had to have such a tractor. Some were licensed, like the French Le Percheron. Others were not. For instance, Polish Ursus C45 from 1947 to 1965 or Argentinian Pampa from 1951 to 1960. The company was acquired by John Deere in 1956 and for the last years of production, the tractor carried the name John Deere Lance. The Lance Bulldog was just the right product, at the right time. A very simple engine that can't burn anything, is easy to work on and available for the masses. Some of the last models did have a start motor. I have to say, a magnificent piece of history. What do you think about the Lance Bulldog?